Greetings, my friends, and welcome once again to another chance to be able to share a video with you. And it's, it's my honor and my pleasure to do it. I reach a lot of people around the world, and I speak to a lot of people around the world every day. And it's uh, it's it's pretty common now for people to be afraid uh, because of what's going on with the COVID-19 virus and everything. Um, People are really afraid and they like to have answers and people are getting vaccinated now more and more every day. They say millions around the world are getting vaccinated by the day now sometimes and, and they're concerned. And as this video says, as the world slowly reopens, the vaccinated will seek protection from unvaccinated, but I may have a solution. I think I really do. Let's go over the things that people are talking about right now that I don't think will work, first of all. People are talking about getting an immunity passport. I don't believe that's going to work and, or like a yellow card. In the military, we had a yellow card, a PHS 731, it was called, and it had all the vaccinations that you require to enter different countries to make sure you were okay to go in there. And we had to have that. It was cumbersome. Though. You have to look through it and find all different kinds of vaccinations. It's a lot of work. If massive amount of people are trying to, to uh, say, board an airplane or try, say, to, to cross a border or, or, or try to get into anything, it's really, really hard. And plus, that can be lost. It can get damaged by water. It can be destroyed. They were so easy to get tore up. That's not going to work at all. Then you had people talking about, well, let's go ahead and try to have an, a cell phone app that we can use where, because most people in the world have cell phones. <clears throat> but the problem is this. Cell phones, again, can be tampered with, and they can be also the same with the PHS 731, the yellow immunity passport. They can be stolen. They can be lost. Um, and a lot of people don't have cell phones, believe it or not. You think everyone would have one, but a lot of people in the world don't have cell phones. So that wouldn't work at all either. And so that's not going to work. And there are other little fringe ideas out there. I won't go over all of those, but I think I've got the solution. I think I've got the solution to take care of this problem. What do people do with you whenever you go into a building or you go into a, uh, a business or you go anywhere, what do they do? They first of all, make sure you have a mask on, right? And oftentimes, they will take a little gun and they will just take your temperature in your forehead, okay? I believe this. I believe if they, when you get your second shot to complete your vaccination, if they gave you a little, let's just say a little invisible, a little invisible tattoo or something on your forehead, where they scan you at, you couldn't see it unless it's scanning time. And then you go, then you get ready to go into a restaurant or you go to a grocery store or you go uh, to a school or to work or you go to, on an airplane or a boat or a train or, 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 a, or a Uber or whatever. <clears throat> then you got your mask on. Then all they got to do, whoever's, whoever it is that, you, that you're being involved with, these will be spread, I think, like wildfire because everybody has them. These little guns, are they only cost... 10 15 dollars online and all they have to do then you got your mask on all you have to do is just scan your forehead and if that little thing pops up hey you've got the you've got immunity to the vet to the uh, to the to the virus you have an immunity to it then you can go ahead and pull that mask off go about your business that i believe that would work perfect don't you and then they wouldn't have any problem at all and those who have the mask on and they scan their forehead and they don't have that tattoo on their forehead, they just wouldn't be able to enter. Uh, they would have to just go back home and do whatever and until they got the vaccines. And some people might say, well, you know, it's going to be, that's not very fair to do it that way because uh, they're not making anybody get a vaccine. Well, here's the deal. The people who've got the vaccines are, are, are worried. They want to make sure, because you see people right now, they, they're worried, they, they're just worried like crazy about this whole COVID thing. I mean, if you see somebody dare not wear a mask in, out in public, they will they will jump on you, man. They will get on you and they'll get and they'll get terrified. I've seen people have panic attacks out in public. So they're gonna demand that you have a, a, a mask on and that you have the vaccines. If you don't have it, that'll be your choice because if they don't make you have it, then that's your choice. But understand that everyone around you that's had it wants to make sure that they are safe from those who haven't had it. So I think it's, it's the perfect solution just to have that tattoo on the forehead, scan it, you're good to go. So go ahead and let me know what you think. Uh, give me some feedback like you always do. I'm curious to know what people are thinking about all this. And I get most of my feedback on Facebook, which is cool. But it's, it's, it's pretty amazing of, you know, 
what's going on right now it's just it's just incredible this has been a long time it's been since last december i mean it's been going on going on 18 months soon it won't be long and again they're starting to reopen stuff slowly they're starting to get things going slowly and people are going to want to know who have had the vaccines that hey i'm not around people who are unvaccinated and they have to come up with a solution that's my two cents worth people can do whatever they want to do it's their choice i just want to throw my you know my um hat in the ring so this is a christian channel and if you've never been saved or you're backslidden i've got a prayer and six vital next steps in the box below the video pray the prayer do the six steps as soon as possible no one's guaranteed any more time in your life we could all die anytime we all know that it happens all the time to people around us and uh, if you'd like prayer from anything i don't care if you're a christian or not contact me i'll pray for you every day whether you hear from me or not if you contact me i'm still praying for you and i love you all dearly and i want everybody to uh be safe i want everybody to not be afraid uh to not be anxious to not be depressed and just understand things will work out uh, i believe in god's will all the time and I'm ready to go. Uh, I'm ready to leave this world when God takes me home, uh, whether I'm either raptured or I'm dead, whatever happens, I'm ready to go. It's just, um, I just, you know, just don't like it here anymore. The world's just gotten kind of crazy for me and it's just gotten kind of topsy-turvy, but I don't get anxious. I don't get depressed. I just trust in God, trust in Jesus Christ and don't worry about anything else. So that's what it's all about. I threw something out there and people can just, you know, just, just let me know what you think. Who knows? Maybe they'll adopt this idea and do it. Maybe this was their idea all along. Maybe they already had this plan. Who knows? No one knows for sure until it happens. But they have to have a way to be able to keep those who are vaccinated, make them feel safe from the unvaccinated. And I'm sure they'll figure it out. That's just my two cents worth. You guys take care of yourselves and share this video. Bye.